Thank you, everyone. Wow. This is so exciting. I'm so glad you could all be here with us today. Now, I know some of you are wondering what I'm doing here at Pomp. You know, I used to work for this really cool company in Cupertino. And we did lots of really cool stuff. But after a while, I decided it was time to take a break. I had some other things I wanted to do with my life. So we packed up, me, my wife, the dogs, and we moved to Mexico, right about there. Now, I'm hanging out on the beach one day when the phone rings. Yeah, yeah, we have phones and internet in Mexico. So the phone rings, and it's Fred Anderson and Roger McNamee from Elevation Partners. And they were all excited about this incredible opportunity. And they wanted me to meet someone. So they sent this guy, Ed Colligan, down to visit me on the beach. And Ed pitched me on helping to restore innovation at Palm. Now, we hung out for a couple days, did some brainstorming, drank some margaritas, and brainstormed some more. Now, I was a pretty busy guy in Mexico. <laughs> but I thought about it for a while. It was a huge business opportunity. And the growth of smartphones is explosive. And I've been through a variety of transitions, from mainframes to desktops, desktops to notebooks. Clearly, there's another transition going on here. So I said yes. And I left behind those other things I was doing and joined Pomp. Now, for those of you that have hung out on a beach in Mexico, you're probably thinking, why? Or you're thinking, muy loco. But aside from it being a great business opportunity, it was an incredible product opportunity. And I'm a product guy. The next wave is clearly mobile devices. And Palm's DNA is mobile, always has been. I think the company's positioned to create some of the best mobile devices in the industry. Now, today's mobile market is different than it was a few years ago. You need to have a great phone. And frankly, I think many companies seem to have forgotten that. But that's not enough. And it needs to be more than just a bunch of applications bolted on top of that phone. We live, we all live very complex lives. And we keep our information all over the place, uh, on our mobile, on our computers, and in various places in the cloud. The opportunity is to take all that information, wherever it is, put it all in one place, in your hand, be able to access it quickly, and let all of that data interact. Now, to do that, you need to have the right phone. And you need to have the right platform, one that's forward-looking, not based on yesterday's operating system, and one that's powerful and flexible, powerful enough so that it can handle all that different types of data, and flexible enough so that you can move in between the data with just the flick of a finger. And I can't think of any company better to do this than Palm. So let me introduce you to that guy who came to visit me on the beach, Ed Colligan, President and CEO of Palm, to explain why. Ed? Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. It's great to be here. John's absolutely right. Palm is the right company to bring you a breakthrough new platform and product. That's because from be the beginning, we've been designing products, really thinking about how to improve people's lives. That's where our design premise com comes from. And we're very, very proud of our success. We say things around Palm like, you know, fingers, not buttons, or pockets, not processors. Why? Because we think about all the touches you might do through your day trying to, you know, get through using these devices, or how small the device has to be to fit right in your pocket. Those are more important things to us than processors or how many buttons we're going to put on it. When we designed the original Palm Pilot, actually, we didn't think about competing with the Newton. We thought about competing with pen and paper, because that's what people were using in that day. And we really wanted to provide instant-on capability to the devices. We have what we think is kind of a unique perspective on product design. We ask ourselves a couple questions all the time. One of them is, how can we simplify people's lives? 
when they're on the go? That's literally a question we ask ourselves all the time. It's one of the values of our company. And the second is, how can we make the technology invisible? How can we make it just seem like magic to you as you're using it? It's something we like to do. There's one more reason why Palm is the right company to bring this to you, and that is because mobile is in our DNA. We don't do computers. We don't do big screen TVs or set-top boxes. We don't do refrigerators. We do mobile, and that's all we do. Now, we have some very cool stuff to show you today, and it's going to be fun to bring that out. But I, I'd like you to indulge me for just a second. I'm going to take you on a little uh, back to our roots a bit and shed some light on uh, how we got here and kind of some design perspective around the new things we're going to show you. If you remember back to the 80s and the 90s, um, you know, we kept our stuff all over the place. We had phone numbers and filofaxes and enrolled dexes on our desk and on our refrigerator and, and it, wherever. A real mess. It was hard to keep them up to date. It was hard to keep them all synced. Palm thought about this problem, and we said, geez, how could we bring this together to help people manage their lives more effectively? How could we keep all that information in sync? And we designed a little product you might remember called the Palm Pilot. Really was a very compelling tool that changed the way people manage their lives on the go. That was great, and it connected you everywhere and brought all these different elements of, 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 that you were using on the go into one device you could carry in your pocket. But what it did is eventually led to more devices. All of a sudden, uh, you had an MP3 player, and you had a Palm Pilot, and you had a cell phone. Uh, all those things, you kind of started looking like Batman. Um, in fact, Roger still does look like Batman. Um, but you got all these things on your belt. Just too many devices to carry. Palm tried to step back and say, well... Yeah, there's a lot of devices. What can we do to fix this? And so we designed the smartphone. We literally took all these different devices, combined them into a single device so that you could manage your life on the go even more effectively. And that turned out to be the Trio. Now today, we have a new twist on that same old problem. Today, our stuff is all over the internet. Today, we do all kinds of things on the internet. We blog, we Twitter, we poke. You're all doing your status update right now, I'm sure. Our lives live in a lot of different places on the net. You might have your work contacts in Outlook. You might have your personal contacts in Google or Gmail. You might have your mailing list for your rock band on Facebook. Different websites, all different places, all different information. The problem is it's kind of like a, a filing cabinet. You know, the, the, the smartphones today let you browse that information from place to place, but you, know, you kind of open up a drawer, pull out a piece of information. It's you know, a site, and you look at that, and when you're done with it, you close it up, and you put it back in the drawer, and you go to the next thing. It's a real modal way of kind of accessing information. We don't really live our lives that way, and it kind of slows down the way we access stuff. So we thought, ha! Hey, there's an opportunity here, a way of bringing this all together in a more seamless way. The ironic thing is that people do want to simplify their lives, but they also kind of like the thing, thing separate like this, you know, in separate silos. People like keeping their stuff in different places. You know, I like my work life with my work life and my home life with my home life and my, you know, 49er fan life with my 49er fan life. I like being William and Chris's dad at yahoo.com or you know, ed at palm.com or 49er fan at yahoo. All those things are part of different things I like to do. And so what's happened is information is everywhere. It's just, you know, it's all over the place. But wouldn't it be nice if we could take all that information that is everywhere and bring it to you in a really seamless way from all those different places and bring it to your pocket that, so that your calendar and your contacts and your information that resides in all these different places seamlessly gets integrated automatically. Think about that for a second. Would it not be fun to have, you know, you've got your Outlook contacts, right? With all your information. In it. How many pictures do you have in those? Probably next to none. Well, what if all of a sudden all your real friends in your Outlook contacts suddenly show